All right. All right. That should be much better. I got everything fixed up now, so we should be good. We shouldn't be having the same issues we were having. So, how's the mic now? We good now? All right. Woo! There we go. All right. So, we got it fixed. Uh, for whatever reason, my computer decided to switch and uh, use its own audio panel instead of my mic, which was fucking not tight, so... We're back, and now it doesn't sound like I'm literally drowning in a river while recording this, so we're good to go. So we're going to play some more TTO. <clears throat> I'm not going to use Tyler Hero because I just straight up don't feel like it. I'm going to continue to use D'Lo and Nick Anderson and Chris Bosch because I straight up just don't lose with these guys. Seriously, though, if you guys don't have D'Angelo Russell, like, <clears throat> I'm not kidding. He's, like, legitimately one of the best amethyst cards in this game at least for me personally like i like him better than donovan mitchell personally i don't even think it's like particularly close i really enjoy my man here all right when you go jump in some more tto we're going to try to get richard jefferson i don't really know how this is going to work out but uh we're gonna we're gonna see <laughs> Delo does move different man he like 100 percent moves different i did how do i even get matched up with this man no he's not he's not good at defense at all i just i'm so good at scoring with him that it's like yeah that's what i have chris bosh and nick anderson for they're just there to play defense LeBron spotlight gamer bro what uh what's the issue with LeBron spotlight like what do you what are you having problems with because I feel like I'm I feel like I might have had issues with it when I played it I just can't remember yeah okay what what was that dude <laughs> seriously whoo okay that's cool all right, dude, back off, bro. Uh, probably play honestly playing TTO realistically, bro. How do you keep stealing the ball from me every five seconds? And then what is this, dude? All right, this dude's connection is garbage. Uh, the Warriors. Oh yeah. What what's the uh, what's the parameters? I'll have to go look after this game and kind of check it out. Um. And see exactly which one you're talking about. Because I feel like I might have had some issues too. Oh, this guy's matched up. This dude's using free agent cards still. How do you even have free agent cards at this point? Off ball into. What a fucking. There we go. Oh, come on, bro. Yeah, no, Auction House works really well as well. Um, picking up cards that are, like, you know, newer and a lot of people are getting and then holding on to them and flipping them is a really easy way to do it without having to spend a bunch of time. Like when Rubies and Amethyst come out in packs that first two days, they're extremely cheap because people are ripping a bunch of packs, man. They're putting them up for almost nothing. Um, and then you can make some decent MT doing that, especially when you know an Amethyst or a Ruby card's really good, like, Michael Cooper, I made a bunch of MT on, uh, Rex Chapman, stuff like that. Like guys like that that are really, really good to this day. This guy I'm playing is a fucking tryhard. Oh, dude. Oh, how are you going to use free agent cards and off ball, bro? You're so trash. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, and you're playing no meter. You trying too hard. There we go. Ah. Yo, how is my man Nick Anderson ice cold? He hasn't even shot a shot yet, dude. All right. <clears throat> I really hate Heart Crusher. Heart Crusher is the most annoying badge in this game. It just makes your entire team ice cold before they've even done anything. 
current gen rim running at its finest. All right. There we go. Layup. Got to get the challenge done, man. Man, you got a second Wayne Embry, dude. I still haven't gotten Wayne Embry. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Like, still. I cannot get this dude to show up no matter what I do. Oh, too late. Oh, come on. No, straight up, Beetle. Same here. Like, I legitimately have played, like, 200. Oh, you. Oh, you suck, dude. Got to try to limit the fast breaks. There we go. Hit that Chris Bosh. Dude, what is with the RNG right now? Do they just not want me to win at all? Bro, come on. Yo, Hertz is not a guy. We lost, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, did we win? No, we lost, right? I don't know. I didn't watch the rest of the game. I just came in here. I just saw him throw a pick in the end zone and said, you know what, I'm done. He does, even though he's supposed to be like, what, 6'9", I think? There we go. Splash that. D low. Yeah, who, bro, burn, you're right. D'Angelo Russell is getting cooked by Morant right now. But at the same time, like, I know he can't shoot with Anthony Davis, so I'm not worried about it. I'll just chill down here. Like, when I have to play like a bum, I will. <laughs> I don't like doing it, but. Yeah, I still haven't gotten Finley, dude. I just don't play TTO like that. Oh, that's wet. Yep. Yeah, I thought the Eagles lost. We we were losing. That's fine. I don't. I don't. We shouldn't make the playoffs this year anyway. Like, real, really, we shouldn't. Not even from like a moral standpoint. Like, we we aren't good enough to make it. But like, we just shouldn't. So we can have an actual draft pick this year. That we're probably gonna waste on a five ten receiver from like West Virginia or something. But like, still, still want the draft pick. Oh my god, this guy is something else. Alright. Oh, there we go. I got blessed by 2K right there. Because that was an ugly shot that I shouldn't have made. You're really going to wait for me to get over there? Alright, good rebound. Oh, let's go. Ah. Okay. Alright, Paul George. Splash, let's go. <laughs> yeah, straight up. You can make a lot of uh, MT by doing Evos, too. I just bought them all for Cam Reddish and then uh, switched them out. Get out of here. No way. Yup. Nick Anderson, ball movement always wins. All right. Me too, dude. Um... This week, gamer bro. Oh yeah, Gray, we were just talking about that. Uh, what up, Sizzle? Yeah, Beetle, I like Chris Bosch a lot, actually. <clears throat> I know a lot of people don't. He does have some issues. Like I'm, pr I have to look at what badges he doesn't have and what he can have uh, applied. But. <clears throat> I believe he has a like gold intimidator and gold range and stuff like that. He's definitely one of the best uh, big men options under 50k if he's still down below 50k because he was like 30, 40k yesterday. So I'll have to go check what he's at right now. But there's really no one as good as him for the price range that he's at. Uh, the only guys that uh, 5k, holy shit. The only guys that really do what he does um, for that price are probably like Kevin Love who sucks like I hate Kevin Love and uh I think that's really it dude Tim Duncan if he gets down in price a little bit more Gobert was down kind of around that price but he's kind of slow Bosch can handle the ball and move really well uh you just need to badge him up for him to be really good Karolinko obviously is just as good as well I think he's better Karolinko is anyway but uh yeah let me see what badges he can have applied to him yeah, because he's got, like, Hall of Fame catch-and-shoot and corner specialist, volume shooter, difficult shots. He's got rim protector, box, heart crusher, intimidator, rebound chaser. He has gold flexible, gold range. Um, giving him some defensive badges. Can he have clamps? 
Yeah, he can't have clamps, but if you play him at the center, it's really not that big of a deal unless you're dealing with people with Wayne Embry. Um, Showtime, I really wish he could have Deadeye. Deadeye would be cool. Um, that's kind of the only issue I have with him is just his lack of Deadeye. But he's still really good. He's better than, like, Vladi Divac, who actually Vladi's not terrible. I'm really upset that he is the lock-in reward, though. No, AK is way better for sure. AK is significantly better, but they're on like the same tier of how good they are. Some people are much better with Bosch. Some people are better with uh, AK. I prefer AK like a lot. I do like Bosch's, Bosch's release though. Like I'm not a huge base 98 fan. Uh, realistically, probably Stockton. I, I, I prefer Monte Ellis because I'm a huge Monte Ellis stan. But, uh... Oh, thanks, Mike, dude. But personally, I think uh, objectively, yeah, Stockton's probably better, like realistically. I like Monte Ellis. He's got that Steph Curry release, and he's got like Tracy McGrady dribble sigs. But all in all, if you look at them all together, I think Stockton's a little bit better. And that hurts to say because I'm of the opinion that Monte Ellis is definitely should be in the league right now. No, facts, dude. I really do need Wayne, I need Wayne Embry. Like, I really need him. And I'm pretty sure he goes away pretty soon. Which is really unfortunate, because I would really enjoy having Wayne Embry. He's basically Dave Cowens, but can shoot better. Like, that's basically what he is, and he can handle the ball. Him and Dave Cowens are very similar, but Wayne Embry is better than Dave Cowens at literally everything. Get off me, Jason White Chocolate Williams. Splash, let's go. December 29th? Shit, dude. I got like two days to get this guy. <clears throat> I've played like 200 fucking games and I can't see this dude like at all. Like he has not once shown up for me and it's super annoying. Get out of here, dude. Oh, is that Elvin Hayes? No way. Uh, there we go. Splash. <laughs> there we go. I... Love Nick Anderson, man. That is my guy. Oh, bro, you should be using Wayne Embry. Like, Wayne Embry's so good. Compared to, like, all the other centers in this game, he really is super good. Like, if you use him and you don't like him, then, like, I totally understand. But, uh, yeah, he really is that good. Oh, man, that should have been Splash. Oh, that's money. I hate Zion, dude, so much. I hate Zion so much, man. He's so annoying. All right, let's go. Oh, oh Jason White Chocolate Williams wants to play defense? All right, Elvin. It's fine. Ah, this fucking... Oh, I shouldn't have shot that. That was a terrible idea. Uh... Yeah, I would still run him on the bench unit. Who do you run on the bench unit? Yeah, or use Blake at the four and then run Wayne at the five. Or even run Wayne at the four. You could probably get away with doing that. There we go. Splash that. Yeah, who's your bench five, though? Yep, yeah, facts. He's literally unstoppable at attacking the rim. Most centers don't have clamps. Um, it, honestly, most centers can't even have clamps applied to them. But, like, Wayne Embry is a different breed compared to, like, what we have available at the game. Like, he'll probably be outdated. White Chocolate Williams just got the rebound. Bro. Oh, damn. All right, GoPro. That lineup's pretty stacked. <laughs> like, realistically, like, and I'm guessing you're an actual, like, Giannis fan, like, as far as, like, how he plays the game. You're looking like your team is basically all rim running and speed. Uh and then defense. Ah, oh, man, I like that lineup, though. You got a little mix of everything going on there. I'd still use Wayne on the bench, at least in the bench five. <clears throat> Damn, you got Iggy? Okay. <laughs> Bro, why are, you even wa why are you even watching my tip videos, dude? You seem better than me already. <laughs> ah, that's funny. There we go. Uh, Embry? Probably not. Like, I don't think he's going to be outdated too quickly, <clears throat> but Wayne is probably better than Lucas at everything, though. I like Mo, Mo Lucas, like, a lot, but uh, I think it'll take a 
probably a month or two before he's like completely outdated. I think he's going to be like, uh, if you guys remember that pink diamond T Mac from last year, who was like technically outdated after a while, but was usable for a really long time. And I think that's going to be like Wayne Embry this year. Oh, Embry over Duncan, a hundred percent all day. It's not even close. Oh my God. I hate Zion so much, dude. Oh, Zion is literally the most annoying card in this game. In my opinion, I hate him so much. I just, especially when people off ball Zion, that is super ridiculous. Oh, let's go. Chris Bosh dunks. What's good, I sell. <laughs> Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan can move a little bit. He's not that slow. I mean, he's not fast. Don't get me wrong. He's a little bit of a lumberer, but like. Oh, that's a block, dude. What do you mean? I think Aaron Gordon's going to be actually decent. I think I'm probably the, one of the only YouTubers that think he's going to be actually good. Oh, that's good. That's why you don't use Elvin Hayes. No, I think uh, Aaron Gordon will be really good, honestly. Um, I think he'll be, like, not as good as Blake Griffin for sure. But I think he'll be, like, pretty usable. I don't think he'll be, like, an elite card by any means, but... I think he'll kind of be like uh, Jalen Brown last year, where he's like a very usable option, but I don't think he's elite at anything in particular. Just like Jalen Brown, I really wanted him. Yeah, I mean, WB, I'm sure he's not going to be that game-breaking of a card. He'll be pretty decent. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I have uh, five rings, so I'm going to go grab the last one last week, so... Yeah, I mean, I might as well. Um, I'm a big fan of Aaron Gordon. Like, I like Aaron Gordon's jump shot. Some people don't. And his pink diamond last year in 2K20 was actually pretty solid, especially when it was able to get Evo to an Opal. It was actually pretty good. A lot of people didn't like it. I was, I liked it. So, I don't know. He doesn't have, like, uh, you know meta dribble sigs or meta jump shot he just has like a pretty average like very usable jump shot and like pretty okay dribble moves man so he's not going to get talked about in the same vein as like a zion and stuff like that uh yeah fruit loops man <laughs> i like the cereally flavors uh i used to smoke american spirits like pretty heavy so like I, it's weird that i switched over to like fruity stuff but that's what got me off cigarettes, so it works. Uh, I'm 6-0, so I should be at some point seeing Richard Jefferson pop up. I'm hoping that I can make it at least up until those last three, up until the final board before I see him, though, just because I really don't want him at the second board. Yeah, they're probably going to be worse than AKs, realistically. Like, Andre Karolinko... Is just like he he he's a meta card. Um, but I still think that Aaron Gordon's gonna be a lot better than people are giving him credit for. He'll be a very usable card, and if you put him in the right hands with somebody who likes Aaron Gordon's sigs, I think he'll be almost unstoppable for certain people that are really good with him. That makes sense. Um, you could say that about really any card, but I just think that a lot of people are trashing Aaron Gordon for no reason. I don't know. Not entirely sure. I mean it's hard just because a lot of YouTubers in the 2K my team scene don't seem to like give love to cards that are just average, if that makes sense. Like, oh, holy shit. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, hoo hoo. <laughs> this guy sucks. I hate him. Yo, I know you're not off balling right now. I know you're not off-balling with this team. I know it's not happening. I know I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing you off-ball with Cam Reddish, Kobe, and Shaq versus my dusty-ass team. I know this is not happening right now. Oh, man, Mommy's credit card's not helping you out right now, is it? Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Switch over. Oh, there we go, Nick Anderson. Yo, straight up, this sucks. I'm not really feeling this. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, D'Angelo Russell, I'm about to. Ooh, I'm about to rage quit you with this God Squad. No way. 
No way, dude. Oh, that was bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, Chris Bosh. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, I, I kind of have the same problem, dude. Um, I have the same problem with, like, power forwards right now and small forwards. Like, I sold Paul George, though, just to kind of unclog my situation. Uh, also, because I was so low after trying to get Kobe Bryant <laughs> on MT that, like, I had really no choice but to sell uh, Paul George because I was down to, like, 50K MT, and it was just not working out for me. Oh, there we go. Mid range splash <laughs> all right i really shouldn't be winning this game like i shouldn't be winning this game with this team bro come on dude same when when gold gold clamps and gold range go up in price i'm gonna have so much mt and when uh you know the idols card finally comes out and i can sell all the manus i have in my auctions like that'd be pretty cool all right i know you're not just dribbling down and shooting threes with kobe what are you doing bro oh oh yeah shoot that shack mid-range i know you want to okay does kobe have a challenge what all right i don't know what to tell you there <laughs> i don't know that's i'm really not that good so i don't know what's going on here Yeah, straight up. Um, when Super Packs come out, Paul George will probably be down to around like 100, 150K. Um, I think he'll definitely be worth it, but I'm of the opinion that I don't think Paul George is really that much better than Cam Reddish. Like he's better than Cam Reddish, but it's so minuscule. You can literally pick up Cam Reddish for like after you buy all the cards and then swap them out and resell them. It'll end up costing you somewhere between like 5 to 20K. So... And then Paul George would cost you like 200, 250. So I just think for that price difference, Cam Reddish is just so much better. In my opinion, anyway. Yeah, what does the glitch Clay Thompson do? Can he dribble? Oh, man. If he could dribble, that'd be fucked. Oh, man. I'm interested because all we've gotten from 2K so far are glitch cards that either like shoot threes or dunk when they're not supposed to do either of those. So I'm really interested to see kind of. Because I think before we start getting out of position glitch guys, you know, like point guard Ben Simmons, point guard Giannis, stuff like that. I think we're going to start to see uh, other stats that kind of move up. Like it would be surprising to see. It wouldn't be surprising to see like Clay Thompson, but he can he has like 99 ball handling and like upgraded speed and stuff like that. Uh, I think we're definitely going to start seeing those cards probably in next season like season four when we start to get like flash five flash six i think that's when we start to see those kind of cards um because 2k is close to being close to start like half breaking the game like uh right around january is when they start to like semi break the game they put out like semi broken cards that start to fuck everything up and then uh we're gonna get uh <laughs> we're gonna start to get some real nasty cards come in like february i think I think that's where they get some really fake cards. But honestly, what you said about Clay Thompson sounds right. Like, I wouldn't surprise me at all to see, like, a dribbling Clay Thompson with, like, whatever the meta dribble sigs are this year. I'm not a huge dribbler, so I really, truly don't know. But I... Ugh. Oh, no question. Yeah, no question Clay's release is the best catch and shoot in this game. Um, Eddie Jones is really good, too, but I don't think it comes close to... Uh, yeah, no. Clay Thompson's is the best. Yeah, Zach, what what level are you on? Because I'm at a 37 right now. There's 11 days left. I have so much XP that I have to get still through challenges that are all like half done and like a quarter done that I should be able to get it in the next 11 days. I'm just really into a rush, to be honest. Just because I know I will get it. And so I'm not going to put myself through a bunch of stress to go get it right now. Um, but like every night I'm going to go through and try to get as many challenges He's definitely worth it. Yeah, he's definitely the best guard in this game. Um, I think he's better than Kobe, personally. Kobe's not really game-breaking. Um, he's just really good, Does that make, if that makes sense. Like, Dwayne Wade's straight-up game-breaking. Like, if you get someone who knows how to use him, he's straight-up impossible to guard. 
Like, Kobe can be guarded. He's very good. But he's just a very good, like, traditional guard, if that makes sense. Hell yeah. I told everyone when they got Kobe to sell him. Like, I was trying to get Kobe not even to use Kobe Bryant, but to sell Kobe Bryant. Um, just because I knew he'd be going for, like, damn near a million. Yo, that's sick. Oh, Tom G, Rex, Sapphire, Derek. Uh, dude, use uh, use my man uh, D-Lo. Dude, d is incredible for TTO. Legitimately, like, he can't play defense for shit, but he's so good offensively, and his jump shot is super easy to time. Yeah, you regret it, DMV? Really? Why is that? You just think that, like, you could have operated with, like, Stockton in them? For a little bit longer instead of like wasting all that mt or like what's the what's the deal yo ai is really good uh yeah squad i like your lineup your lineup's super solid hit that oh tom googly out is tough bro okay what was that bro there we go hit it Ah, splash. AI, Cam, yeah, Scotty, Wayne, and Bosch. That's solid. I like that lineup a lot. I like Scotty Pippen a lot. Like, Scotty this year is so good. His jump shot is still super slow, but it's not as, like, cripplingly slow as last year because of, like, quick draw not being a thing. They speeded it up. Um, but, like, I've seen a lot of YouTubers trash Scotty Pippen. Why can I get no rebounds against this team? Like he doesn't even have a big team. Is Googly out of that good on the boards right now? Get off me, Kenny. Ooh, crosses. Yeah, no, it's very greenable. It's, like, super easy to green. Um, I'm a big fan of his jump shot this year. Bro, what the fuck was that? Nick Anderson, dude, you have great defensive stats. What are you doing? Ooh, crosses. Hit it, Bosh. Tell me that's a three. Oh, man. You know what? If I lose to this team after beating the God Squad, that's truly just karma. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Pippin. Yeah. Those are badges that would work on Pippin. Oh, you thought that was going to work. Drive in. d -Lo. All right. I need to get more layups with d -Lo, but I really need to, like, win these games like i'm definitely oh my god come on okay what was that dude there we go should have shot that oh my god bosh dude what the fuck I know, everyone has Kobe except me, dude. That's because everyone's had MT saved up, dude, for the entire year. Because we really just haven't... No card has really gotten over, like... Besides the possessed LeBron, which, I mean, everybody knew not to buy that. No card has really gotten too high up there that it became, like... There we go. Good board. <clears throat> to be that uh, expensive, realistically. And I think Kobe's the first card that was, like, justified that kind of price tag, I guess. So, everyone had that MT ready to go. Nope. Defense, defense, defense. Good defense. Oh, my God, dude. I cannot out-rebound Gugliotta right now. This is so stupid. That's money. Oh, good shit. Yo, facts. Facts, Dorsa. Do yeah, it's not worth it. He'll be outdated. Not, like, completely outdated, but he'll be slightly outdated in a couple weeks, legitimately. Oh, you didn't get day. I think they'll have another locker code for AI, personally. Um, I think there'll be more chances. Like, I, I can see next limited weekend um, Iverson being one of the prizes. Like, I, I could see it. Yeah, AI should have been, like... Uh, I don't know, like a separate challenge or just something. Like another win the weekend type thing. There we go. Hit that. Oh, there we go. Like, yeah, he should have been another... Uh... Do I buy MT? No. I just sell cards, bro. Um, I just... The one thing I preach more than anything is just like... 
selling cards before they lose their value, you know? I know even if you like a card, it's just smart to sell them before they lose their value in this game. There we go, GG's. All right. Whew, that one was tough. That dude was decent. Yeah, no, Astro, for sure. He should have been a uh, like a tough-to-do weekend challenge, kind of like uh, Drew Holiday was, for sure. He should have been like a – didn't even have to be tougher, just like that, where it wasn't even like tough. It was just like a super annoying grind, you know? That's exactly what it should have been. All right. So we're uh, – we're cruising. For sure, yeah. I mean, the thing about the Iverson thing is I think it should have been both. Like, I think it should have been the first week or two should have been, like, you know, a grind-type situation. Or next week should be, like, a grind-type situation. Like, I do like the idea of giving out a free pink diamond on Christmas. I think that locker code they gave out was super super awesome uh loopy fruits is basically fruit loops but uh i really like the idea of that like giving everyone the free pink diamond i think was absolutely awesome um no yeah my my thing was like i feel the same way squad or spog sorry whatever um i feel the same way i don't think that was out of the niceness of 2k's heart like it was a really cool locker code but i really think that it was a calculated move because i think more people are going to buy the super packs now that they crashed the market on half of the pink diamonds for season three, I think that that is going to cause a lot of people to buy the super packs because they're closer to getting Wilt Chamberlain than they would have been normally. Um, so I definitely think that was like something 2K knew they were doing. Like, I don't think it was just out of the niceness of their hearts giving everyone a pink diamond. If I could get past this uh, top one, that'd be really cool. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Now we're now we're cooking with fire now. Bruh. <laughs> this sucks, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I would do that, man. Oh, that's a see that's a solid come up DMV. Um Oh my god. But I still like the locker code. I like the pink diamond locker code that 2K did. No, I absolutely hate TTO. Like, um, last year, TTO was my favorite game mode. I used to play ex almost exclusively TTO, like, besides offline stuff. Um, I would play pretty much exclusively TTO. I used to run, like, pink diamond Jeremy Lin, um, Amethyst Bull Bull, and uh, Sapphire Nick Young was my squad. What the f Dude. <laughs> what is this well, how do I even get matched up with this I'm about to get just blasted right now this is about to suck dude and this is when uh, Richard Jefferson is going to pop up when I lose this game inevitably oh you are try hard and I see oh no we're try hard and so hard okay oh Shaq has those that's cool you think it's because I'm 8 0? Is that why they're doing me dirty like this? They really had to come and like mess up my game plan and my flow. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, I'll get it off. There we go. Whoo! Whoa, Beetle. I'm, I got this, dude. No, I don't. If he starts cracking threes with Wade, um, I'll be okay if dude. Oh, no. That was just bad defense. I'll be okay if dude doesn't realize how good Wade is at three hunting. Then I'll be good. Like, I'll be straight. Not here, Paul George. Oh, that's money, bro. He wasn't even covering me. He was just, like, in front of me. It's different. All right. I'm going to play on ball and Dwayne Wade. Oh, I just tried to cover Shaq on the three. Oh. Good defense. No board, though. Nothing I could do. Um... <clears throat> I run a Vupu Caliber. I, I like it a lot. Some people tell me it sucks, but I'm a fan of it. Cross Dwayne Wade. All right, where are we going? <sighs> yeah, he's off-balling, too. That's crazy. Should have shot that. That was bad. Good dunks. Woo! 
Yeah, the release is fast, dude. Wade's release is different this year, too. Motherfucker. Oh, dude. There we go. All right, seven seven. We're uh, <laughs> we're we're trailing we're trailing right now. We're doing a. Oh no! What is that? What was that? Oh no! Nope. That's awful. Oh no! Gr oh, Chris, oh. what just happened there? What what is Chris Bosch doing, bro? Play defense. Oh, bro, how how? There we go. This sucks, dude. <laughs> this dude's... Oh, this guy's annoying. Like, I'm playing off-ball, but that's just because I kind of have to. Oh, no. So, anyways, uh, for any of you guys that were wondering if Wade was worth it, like, as you can see, this is the kind of stuff he can do. Like, the on-ball defender. Like, if you're on-balling, it's hard to play defense, like, hard enough. But if you're off-balling... He's literally just going to torch your CPU defender. Like, it's not even remotely close. All right. Bro, pick the ball up. Oh, my God, dude. There's literally nothing I could do about it. <clears throat> See, he's so fast that it, there's no way to really cover him. Like, it's super annoying. Um, especially with, like, what I have. Like, my team's not going to be able to cover Dwayne Wade. Somehow that's late. I don't really know how that happened. I release it the same time every time. There's nothing I can do. Like, and he's inbound, inbound cheesing too. Like, oh my, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, dude. Come on, man. Oh my God. Bro, this is trash, dude. 2K had to stop me in my win streak in my tracks, dude. This is like sucks. All right. There we go. What am I doing? I'm clogging the middle. All right, bro. I don't understand how I could really do more. Like. Uh, he's shook dude he shouldn't be shook like he should be smacking me right now the fact that i'm even like remotely close is really sad get the fuck out of here no way there we go oh he's super shook now let's go ah, nick anderson <laughs> you better shoot a three because if you come down low i'm gonna fuck you up dude yeah 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 bring bring shack down here Yep, that's how you're going to win. Uh, that's how you're going to win. Ah. Almost had it. Oh, well. <clears throat> it is what it is, man. I was going to get beat by that squad regardless. The fact that I shook him up so much is hilarious. He sucks. I hope he messages me afterwards and tell me I'm trash. Because <clears throat> if I had his team, I literally would have beat him like by seven to nine points minimum. Bro, Richard is 100% going to show up right now. 100%. Like, this is when he'll show up, when I have one ball drop and I won't be able to get him. Or it'll be uh, Larry Nance, who I also don't have and have never seen show up. Facts, Dorsa. 100%. Nah, it's just 10 tokens again. I swear, bro, I'm not going to see him this entire night. Like, I literally, it'd be one thing if I just couldn't get him, but, like, I literally haven't seen him. Every time I drop the ball, it hits this. I, like, I was super frustrating. They really need to change the board up because the board sucks, dude. All right, I'm eight and one. Don't fuck me this time. Like, let me, let me have, like, an evenly ranked team. Just some diamonds would be great. You think drop left side's the way to go, Astro? Because I've had people tell me to drop middle. 
I've never really had to figure it out myself just because like I never get the prizes like <clears throat> it, you want to you want to hear something crazy I don't have a single triple threat online reward this year like legitimately and I play GTO all the time and I clear boards 75 to 90 percent of the time like I get all the way up to the top who's Luca Garza I actually don't know who that is to be honest with you Hmm. All right, I'll try that out, Astro. I'll try that out on uh, this next ball drop I get. This guy's got Wayne Embry, so I'm kind of... Bro. Come on. I know we're not doing settings right now. I know we're not doing this. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. I hope they keep Manu off of it. But I feel like they won't. Like... To be honest, um, uh, dude, that would suck. Hmm, okay. Bro, DMV, that's fucked up, man. Uh, I can't believe, what are, you, what are you doing? Like, what could you possibly be doing? Maybe he's just going to take a dump, dude. I don't know, man. Hopefully, that's what's happening. I'm not sure. Hell yeah, Josiah. What's going on? What does, he, what does he want? Let's find out. Let me make layups and... <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word. Why not? I'm into helping the people. <laughs> Fine. Fine, fine, fine. He just wants to make layups. That's fine with me. You can make layups, bro. That's cool with me. I don't even care. Is there a way to donate? Um, You can over on Twitch, but I don't have a... Yeah, I don't have a way to do it on YouTube as of yet. I have to wait till I get like a certain subscriber count in order to do it. So, whatever. I need layups for my man anyway, so I'll let my man rock here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of the way, D'Lo. Oh, Nick Anderson. <laughs> no, Nick Anderson's tweaking out. He came in there running with the Naruto run to come through and stop it. All right, I like this guy. He probably already has Richard Jefferson, so I don't even care. I don't feel bad. I'm going to win doing this. <laughs> Thanks, Astro, man. I appreciate it. Bro, get out of the way. Guys, let my man Kyrie get layups out here. He's gifting us with the dub. He's probably going to come through and, like, cuck me right at the end and, like, play defense, which will be hilarious. Um, <laughs> Yo, DMV, I just don't have a – you can't donate on uh, YouTube for any reason. If you go over to my Twitch, twitch.tv um, backslash cheap loots, I do have a donate button on my channel, though. Also, go subscribe to the Twitch because I am going to start uh, streaming over there, too. In addition, like, I'm probably going to do, like, two streams a week on YouTube and then a stream or two a week on Twitch. Um, but I do have a PayPal donation button over there. So if you want to donate, I appreciate it, dude. Trust me, I'll accept the charity. Don't get me wrong, dog. <laughs> I'm poor as hell. I'm still rocking a regular Xbox out here. I think I'm the only content creator on YouTube uh, that doesn't have a next-gen system at this point. Oh, wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? I got to get the ball back. I feel bad about that one. My guys play defense for some reason. There we go. <laughs> Yo, I don't have cash up, bro. Oh, I should get dunks with Bosch, actually. That's what I should probably be doing right now. I know this isn't really entertaining because I'm just kind of letting this guy score and he's letting me score, but, like, yo, you know, it's 2020. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help out. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm on Xbox. I don't play PS4. I'm also probably one of the only content creators that's not on PlayStation 4 as well. Um, I run Xbox for sure. Yeah, bro, for sure. Um, I'm usually super busy, so I don't always have time to play, but like, I'll definitely accept the friend request. I'll send you one back for sure. We're here for the ball drops. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Let's go, Bosh. Oh, big dunks. Let's go. Yo, my man's going to come through and just splash a three like a dick. I can feel it. 
Oh, oh, D-Lo, don't even do it, bro. There we go. Yo, I think that's super funny, to be honest with you. I don't know why they do that. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Personally, like, I don't really understand why they go back to uh, current gem for XP challenges. I mean, like, I understand it in the sense that it's just easier to get XP over on current. But, like, what I don't understand is, like, they're trying to preach, like, tips. So why are we going back to current gen? Like, aren't you supposed to be fire at next gen? I don't, I don't get it. Um, that's what I'm talking about. I better see Richard Jefferson pop up right now, I swear. But yeah, I mean, not talking trash, but like, I don't understand it. Like, if you have next gen and you make next gen content, just play next gen. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I play current gen, I make current gen content. I talk about next gen, but I mean, I guess I don't really understand because I don't have the option to go play next gen, so. Yeah, honestly, dude, I just, I'm not really like worried about next gen right now like most people don't have next gen so like me making content i'd probably still be making content for current gen anyway um just because there's like 10 percent of the player base has next gen so like what's the point you gotta be Ugh. all right yeah that's me <laughs> bro ogt i've been out here all weekend i've played probably like I don't even know how many games of TTO I've played this weekend. Like, I probably have been up and down the board like 15, 20 times maybe. I haven't even seen the fucking guy yet. All right, well, cool. I hit the diamond consumables. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Could have been Richard Jefferson. That would have been pretty cool. Now I got to sit here and play this for another 45 minutes to even try to get RJ again. Really? Yeah, that actually makes sense. That, that does make sense. 2K would do that. That's such a 2K move. Wait, where'd I end up? Oh, down there. What do I get? Two tokens? Hell yeah. I need these tokens, man, because I think we are legitimately going to get uh, next to him. Oh, what up, man? I'm assuming this is someone in the stream. RJ's there. I know, but that's only like, what, four more days? Yeah, but knowing my luck, they'll, like, legitimately, um, like, he'll get dropped. Oh, cool. What did I get? Did I get layups with D-Lo? Oh, man, did I just use my VC for that? Man, bomb. I like current. Dude, I'm fine with current. I'm totally cool with it. I would like next gen because I'm really nice with the stick, and I want to be able to use it again because it's just not usable on current gen. Like, it's too small. You can barely see it. You don't have those badges that specifically help with uh, stick shooting. So, I mean, that's the only thing I really care about next gen for is just the the defensive changes and uh, the stick shooting being viable again. Those are the only two things I really want. And if they would just bring those to current gen, I probably wouldn't even buy a next gen system until 2K22. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I just like I like uh, I like stick shooting a lot. Like I was really good. If you watch some of my like earlier two K twenty one videos, like the shit I was doing with Alan Houston, it's just like I don't want it to be that overpowered again. But like, man, because I was doing like I was running fadeaways, like doing crazy shit with Alan Houston and Mitch Richmond when that game first came out. Yeah, even if I had money, like I couldn't find an Xbox, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay, okay. Reset, reset. I hate John Morant. Hate him so much. Hold up. Bosh on Bosh action. Let's go. Man, I wasn't even paying attention to what team I'm playing with. I thought his one of his players had a do-rag on. No, that's just Scottie Pippen's little mini fro. Whack. Hit it, Bosh. Oh, come on. I, me too dude i i like the button a lot it's just i like this i like the aiming like the aiming cool i like the way it works it's just easier to shoot on the run and stuff like that which is like the only way i can score because i can't dribble for like my life 
okay, full white glitch again. Like, I literally held it down as much as normal. 2K is playing me again, it would appear. Uh... Yo, the stick for the first couple months was fake. I haven't even scored a point. It's just super annoying. The RNG is, like, failing me miserably right now. I mean, I haven't been playing great either, but they can't even let me win one shot. The fuck was that, dude? Ugh. <laughs> yeah. I see what's happening, though. All right, this is terrible, bro. I just need to attack the rim and just get some points so I don't get shut out out of here. Getting shut out on stream would not be cool. Ugh. I think I'm just demoralized because of uh, not seeing RJ Hampton. Or RJ Hampton. RJ. Oh, I'm demoralized. I can't even see Richard Jefferson right now. But not seeing him pop up again, I think, has demoralized me to the point where I'm getting absolutely slaughtered this game. I need to re-engage, you know. Well, would you sell Jones if I batched up Scotty? That's actually really tough. Um, I think they're they're different enough that I probably wouldn't sell either of them. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> I was going to say RJ Hampton, uh, not RJ Barrett. I am not a Knicks fan. Oh, that's deep as shit, dog. Okay. All right. Oh, corner snipes. Let's go. Oh, come on. That was a bad shot. What am I doing? Uh, I was about to say, no way that's wet. There you go. Dimes. Hit it. But, no, I probably wouldn't sell Jones if I had Scottie Pippen. Um, just because Jones is a little bit different, and you can use him for both. But, I mean, it depends how much you like Scottie Pippen, realistically. Like, Scottie Pippen's really good, and it also depends who you have next to Scottie Pippen. Like, that's, like, a big thing right there. So, like, if you have a bona fide, like, scorer next to Scottie Pippen, then, like, I don't think you really need our... Bro, come on. I don't think you really need Eddie Jones, realistically. Um, okay. Okay. All right. I'm super demoralized for Embry, bro. Like, I, <laughs> I don't even want to think about Wayne Embry, dude. Like, he's he, that just hurts my soul. There we go. Nope, good moves. Bro, what is going on? Am I lagging super hard or something? Because, like, I'm releasing it at the same point. I fucking hate John ja Morant, dude. Like, super annoying. There we go. <sighs> Stockton, Pippin, Cam. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's really solid. Um, personally, I don't know, dude. It's tough. It really depends on your play style because, like, in theory, Eddie Jones makes a little bit more sense for the squad, but basically that's what Cam Reddish is anyway. So, I don't know. I fucking hate John Morant so much, dude. I can't even, like, think right now. Uh, can't even score with Nick Anderson. My man's off-balling with Pippen, like... fucking jesus dude i hate john ja Morant. i ai is annoying but he's small so at least you can like deal with him like john ja Morant doesn't play defense so that's like one thing okay there we go jesus christ i'm about to lose what up big jack <laughs> fbi <laughs> <laughs> hit it oh come on. the rng is killing me this game like i don't understand what's happening like i'm shooting open shots and i just can't make it like 2k is just punishing me for going 8-0 and not rewarding me with richard jefferson all right good
Yeah, I wish. I wish that was the same, dude. I wish. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do that, but honestly, like, I'm just fried by the last, like, two limited runs of, or not limited runs, but uh, TTO runs I've had. I just, I'm probably going to do pass and screen away, but I'm just having fun freestyling realistically. Like, Jalen Brown I've been seeing a lot, too. He's really annoying. Thanks, DMV, man. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you, cuz. But, yeah, Jalen Brown's super annoying. Um, I actually like Jalen. I'm 0-1. How dare this game? How dare this game do this to me? Uh, let's throw a four game on Chris Bosh. He might get swapped out at some point. D'Lo might get swapped out, too, realistically. I don't know who I'm going to put in instead of him, though. Donovan Mitchell, maybe? De'Aaron Fox? No, he doesn't shoot enough. Right on, dude. I'll probably stream on Twitch Tuesday. I'm thinking either Tuesday or Wednesday, so I'll keep everybody... Uh... He gave me JB. Badged up Pippin. <coughs> yeah, now would be a time... Realistically, if you regret selling Eddie Jones, you can just buy him back when the super packs come out. He's at his highest price right now, so that actually makes sense. I would sell him back, and if you sell him, if you really want him, go pick him up when he's like half the price. I don't, dude, I got like 10 diamond contracts. I really don't know. I'll probably just I'll sell a couple of them, and I'll probably just keep the rest realistically. I have so many, dude. <laughs> like I think I have like 10 legitimately. Um, I'm probably going to put one on Blake Griffin. I'll probably put one on on uh, Wade just so I can run him in TTO and like guap MT that way. I don't I don't know. It depends on the person. Like some people like him better, um, other people don't. I, I'm I'm kind of like torn on him. Oh god damn! Why do I keep running into other Boshes and Pippins? It's super annoying, dude. What is going on with the matchmaking right now? Why do I keep running into full diamond squads, bro? Like, I have a diamond. <laughs> I have one diamond, an amethyst, and a ruby. Why do you keep sticking me against these teams? And why do these teams insist on playing off-ball defense against me when I have a worse squad? Bro. Okay. Brick. There we go. Hit it. Splash. Oh, Amy Drew Holiday is an absolute monster, dude. I might actually run him. He's got a good three point shot, too. Just, ah. I don't know if he has range, though. He might. I'm not sure. I don't think he does, though. I just like, I just like my man right here. Dude, the algorithm is failing me, bro. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I am, bro. Like, I'm not having any luck in TTO. He doesn't have range? Yeah, that's what I thought. He is a defensive god, but I definitely need someone with range. I can't get past this dude at all. There we go. Bro, come on. Get off me, Monte. Oh, fuck, dude. There we go, d -Lo. That's what I'm talking about. I know he is a demon. I might run him instead. Um, I'm not a huge... Like, I like Donovan Mitchell quite a bit. What the fuck was that? But I'm just kind of tired of using him at this point, especially in TTO. I've just used him too long. There we go, Splash. Oh, come on, dude. Bro, I, I'm not saying, like... Give me a white, but like, come on, give me a white, dude. Just like once, or, one or two, man. Holy shit. Can't buy one right now. Okay, Monte Ellis, dude. I have Monte Ellis. Like, how badged up is your Monte Ellis? Because there's no way he's playing defense like this on a normal wavelength. Like, it's just not happening. There you go, D-Lo, slam. Uh, yeah, not today, Ben, because I only have like 
not very much MT that I need to use for idols. And realistically, like if I wager someone, I'll probably end up losing right now. Uh, Elgato. I use an Elgato capture card. Oh, there we go. Ah. Hit it. That's what I'm talking about. Tied up. Let's go. Oh, yo, chill, Jay Groves. All right. Monte Ellis is a national treasure. <laughs> Wait, that was only a two? What? Oh, man. Mid-range. Hit it. Ah, splash. Yeah, I don't know. Bosch is weird. Some games, like, I feel like he's an absolute demigod. And one of the best centers in this game. Other games, like, I legitimately think he's trash. I really don't know what to think about him. No, for real. I feel that. I, like, completely feel that. I just, I really don't know what, how to feel about him. Dude, bro, no way. Monte Ellis did not just rip the ball from D-Lo like that. Get that good defense. I am not getting that board. Get out of here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Amethyst Kyrie is okay if you like Kyrie. I'm not a huge fan of Kyrie personally, but he's decent. Okay, yeah, all right, whatever. Peace out, dude. Yeah, you realistically have time. There we go, D-Lo. Hit that splash down. Let's go. Yeah, I like uh, I like Thon Maker a lot, dude. I wish he could get more shooting badges personally, but it is what it is. Oh my god, get out of here. No fucking way. Oh man, alright, we're gonna have to stroke a three here. Ooh, let's go. GG's. <laughs> what up, Hutchins? Uh, Jay Groves, you got it, for sure. Uh, for sure, I, I think so. Because we're going to be getting a lot more. The last week, they always give us a bunch of XP challenges that are super, super heavy. So you'll get like a, a bunch of 1,000 XP challenges to do. Um, especially like we'll get a bunch of this day in the NBA and stuff like that challenges. So I think you should be good in getting your uh, amount of XP that you need. No, I only played, dude, realistically, I only played like four games of limited because I got my badge almost instantly. No, I had no idea. <laughs> I've never had a Switch, actually. Crazy enough. Uh, I've just never been a big Nintendo guy, personally. That's weird, though. Why would they not let you do that? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, 2K just didn't want to... Whatever. Who knows? It's probably just 2K being 2K. Who knows what's going on with them? Oh, this sucks. I really don't... It's like... It sucks this year because I love to like I love TTO so much like it was like my favorite game mode the last like two years, and this year, dude, it's just like I don't even like playing it. I feel this year about TTO the way I felt about Unlimited in the past, where it's just like I don't want to play it. There's no reason for me to play it whatsoever. Like last year in 2K20, there was no reason for me to play Unlimited. I was never gonna go 12 and 0 because I always ran into some super sweat that was running just like deep hash or three hunting with like a Dwayne Wade or had a God squad. That was like an unstoppable squad every time. So there was like nothing I could do about it. And like this year in TTO, like I feel like the matchmaking is broken. Yeah. Like, bro, I shouldn't be running into this team. I really like with the team that I have, I should not be running into this squad. I should not be having to deal with Allen Iverson, Tracy McGrady and Chris Bosh. Again, this is the third straight game I've run into Chris Bosh, which is super annoying. I'm about to switch him out and go with Andre Karolinko because I'm about tired of running into other Chris Boshes. But then I'll probably just run into a bunch of Andre Karolinkos. There he is. This is great. <laughs> we're already we're already getting getting ranged by Allen Iverson, who, like, as happy as I am, they gave away this free pink diamond. I wish, uh, you know, they would have done it after the Richard Jefferson thing, so I could have, like, there we go. Ah. I could have, like, not had to run into him all weekend. That'd be pretty sweet. Bro, Allen Iverson's so fucking annoying, dude. There we go. Hit it. 
Okay, so, like, <clears throat> Chris Bosh has gold range extender, but I swear to God he doesn't hit anything from that range ever. Okay, where is everybody there? Where Where is everybody? Come on. No, matchmaking was never great, but 2K20 was a lot better for sure in the matchmaking department. Dude, that's sick. I really want Baron Davis, but it's really going to come down to like... Dude, oh my fucking God. It's really going to come down to like RNG, bro. Like where I'm not going to get him. He hasn't even shown up for me once. <clears throat> Okay, you can give this dude fucking six greens with Allen Iverson and a white, but you can't give me one wide open white with D'Lo. No way. <laughs> no way, dude. I'm about done with TTO tonight. This is sucks, dude. You really, you can't give me one white? You just really want me to get beat this bad, 2K? Uh... 23% covered. Fucking excellent. My man has greened so many shots. Man's greened like six shots with Allen Iverson. My man's using a Zen. Feeling it. Confirmed. <laughs> there we go. Is that a three? Wow. Wow. Nope, not today. Okay, he should have went flying out of bounds right there, but that's cool. No biggie. Terrible shot. All right, cool. There we go. <clears throat> I'm back in it, man. I'm coming back again. It's just not. It's going to be too little too late. Damn, I thought he was going to drive in. Bro, can he miss a white? That'd be, like, super sick if he could miss any three-pointer with Allen Iverson. Now he definitely won't. There we go. Oh. 2K Brady. What up, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Splash. That's cool. Oh my god. Matchmaking matchmaking in unlimited works really well actually. Um like TTO matchmaking is absolutely terrible. Like it doesn't it straight up doesn't work, but in unlimited it actually does. For the most part. There's like a five point swing in your overall. Or I think it's a three point swing in your overall. So if you go in there with a team that has an 86 overall, you'll get matched up with any teams between 89 and 83. In theory, if there's not a lot of people playing, you can get matched up with anyone. But if you go in during like a really hot unlimited time, that's typically what will happen. So I don't know. It's kind of tough to really determine exactly how it works, but it seems to work a lot better than TTO. Like TTO is so random, it's annoying. Like, I go in with a squad that overall is probably, like, a 92, and I'm getting matched up with dudes who are, like, 98. Super annoying. I'm not even going to make it to the second board this time. All right, where's my man at? I'm running this guy. I'm running AK-47, dude. I'm tired of Chris Bosh. He's really driving me nuts. What, am I shirt? Medicine. Um, dude, I'm like, I hate 2K right now. This is so frustrating. <laughs> I just want Richard Jefferson so I can stop playing this game right now. I'm drinking my goblet. But they're not going to give it to me because they... Why are you even playing TTO anymore? What's the fucking point? Are you that bored? Are you that bored with your life that you have to play this fucking game still? God damn you. Oh, all right. Oh, we're off-balling, too. That's fun. All right. That's, that's, that's great. 
I hate my life. I hate my fucking life. Bro, what is this dude even doing? Go play something else. I'm sure there's something else in 2K that you got to get done. You're also really off-balling right now with Cam Reddish in the middle. Like, oh my fucking god. Because you know 2K won't let me make it. Uh, this sucks, bro. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, man. All right. All right, that's cool. Yeah, don't let me make a shot. That's super sick. Why are we both going up there, dude? I got to lock in, adjust the beanie. All right. That's terrible. I'm getting flustered. You can tell. I'm not making any shots right now. Oof. This is terrible, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right. Relaxing. There we go. Ah, all right. Let's lock in. I'm going to get this dub. If I don't, I'm going to be upset. Nah, there's no getting that. Uh... <laughs> Yo, this dude's crazy. No, I'm winning, bro. I'm, I'm going. I can't just quit. I mean, I can. I ha I can very easily. There we go. I'm only down four. I got I got this. I got this, dude. Man, I don't even understand that. Like, what's the point of playing? You have Richard Jefferson. Like, what are you even playing for at this point? It's just like when I run into people on Unlimited and they have, a, like, Igudala. And I'm like, bro, why are you here? Like, they have an Igudala and Wade. And I'm like, bro, there's no reason you should be here right now at all. Like, you really should be playing something else, anything else. No, 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 not today. It's like, what do I even do? How do I how do I handle this situation? I don't think there is a way. All right, good move. Good move, D-Lo. All right, bro. Yeah, he probably is playing for MT, but I'm seeing his squad. The fuck does he need MT for? <laughs> like, he doesn't need anything. He's got Reddish, Wade, and Richard Jefferson. That's a good enough squad already. It doesn't even matter what else he has. I know if he's got Wade, he's got other good shit. I mean, my man probably does. Probably for the next Kobe. <laughs> uh... There we go. I mean, I'm not playing. I'm playing terrible, too. But, I mean, I'm just kind of flustered at this point. Man, this dude definitely has Larry Nance already. All right, well, I'm about to get cleared off of this board before I even hit the second round. Because 2K's algorithm is dog shit and can't put me with a team that's even remotely close to what mine is. Alright. Like, just put me with another guy with, like, a couple amethysts and a diamond. They don't even have to have a ruby. Just, like, a couple amethysts. Nah, I think he's just... He's just playing, man. Uh, I'm 37. I'm about 3,000 from 38. So I think I have, like, 37,000 until I get weighed. Um... I have enough players to do it. I just have to actually grind them out. The amount of, I have a lot of challenges, like either half done or like a quarter done. Oh, I got kicked off this board already. That's crazy. All right. Well, let's see what the. Uh, now that I have been sunned by 2K's algorithm, maybe they will have pity on me and start to put me in like my actual weight class. I don't think that's going to be the case, but like I can dream. If I get matched up with another pink diamond team, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Come on, hurry up and load. I'm trying to figure it out right now. <laughs> I'm, like, not having a good time. All right. All right. That's better. It's better. I'm not stoked about it because it's still better than my team, 
but it's better. It's fine. I guess I am using the 94 diamond. Maybe that does have something to do with it. But I mean, if you average those out, like 94, 89, 91, I, should, I would average out to like a 92. So I'm guessing, or like a 91. I don't know, dude. I suck at math, bro. Ooh. Oh, we're stick shooting. Uh, yeah, my man's green and stuff with the stick, though. I don't see much hope. Uh, he's got Mutombo, so he's just going to kind of paint sit with Mutombo, which is going to be probably an issue. That's basically what I've been running into in Limited all week. Bro. I like D'Lo a lot. Uh, D'Lo is going for like 2, 2.5K. I highly recommend picking him up. He's an incredibly good budget card. He can't play defense, but he's basically like Morant. He's really similar to John Morant. All right, that was terrible, but... Yeah, he's, he's very similar to, like, Diamond John Morant in just the way they are. They play almost no defense, but they're really, really, really good on offense. So, I like him. I can't – for 2,500 MT, like, I don't think you're going to get better value. Hit it. Let's say don't miss Nick Anderson. All right. It's going to lock in, dude. We're going to go up this board one more time. I'm going to get Richard Jefferson. I'm going to go to sleep a hero. To who the Buffalo cheap ludes, the fandom. Oh no 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 no, bro. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, damn! Hey, Karolinko's jump shot is fast, bro. Yeah, I like Kyrie. I have him, but I just like uh, D'Lo a little bit. Get the fuck out of here. No way. Yeah, yeah, Joel, you can. For sure. Um, that's how you get Cam Reddish, too, if, you, if you're not aware. Um, you can lock in the upgraded draft guys and then sell them or swap them back out for non-upgraded versions and sell them on the marketplace to get your MT back. Uh, I'm, j just in case you didn't know that, because I didn't know that for a little while. But you can do it with original owner cards, too, um, if you lock in sets. And I think that's actually the reason they did that. Not today, motherfucker. All right, bro. Tell me you guys are watching this, right? No, I have not seen anyone make this many shots with the stick aiming. Bro, he's definitely... Is he think he's using a Zen? Oh, that was just a terrible shot on my part. I'm all flustered right now. I'm just playing tight on him. I don't give a fuck. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Like, as a real person? What? What do you mean, Dylan? You can't sell what back? Fucking A. I know, bro, I'm trying not to leave him open, but, like, my fucking defenders are idiots, and they just, like, get blown by every five seconds. There we go. All right, where's my man, Karolinko? Yeah, I just got to stop off-balling him. Yeah, for Cam Reddish, you can sell all those. Like, you can lock in the higher-tiered guys, and then you can actually trade them in for the lower-tiered ones and sell them back. Bro, come the fuck on, dude. <laughs> no way. All right, I'm sorry. I yelled. <laughs> I'm so mad. How am I supposed to beat a guy who you can't? Like, I'm just not. Ah. Get the rebound. Yeah, it's GG's now. Bro, what the fuck? See, I can't even do anything about this. Fuck over there, Karolinko. Ah. All right. Oh, my 
god. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh, right. That's cool. I almost beat a guy with a modded controller, so it's fine. I don't know, dude. Honestly, I don't really know what to think about Patrick Williams yet. I was like really mad when we drafted him. Um, just because for I don't know why I was mad, dude. There's like no one I actually wanted. I don't. I don't know. Mainly, I was mad because I saw the dude delivering flowers instead of playing basketball as his highlight video during the draft, and that's not something I like. And then when they actually like showed him, I was like, "Fucking, we drafted Tiny Rich Thomas Part Two, dude. That was terrible. I've never. That's actually one of the first times I've ever run into a guy with like a modded controller, at least that I'm aware of." quite frustrating oh yeah i'm live bro i'm live and fucking frustrated that shit hurt my soul i feel like the will smith pain meme right now thank god that didn't happen to me all right later big jack <laughs> what up what up other jack Oh, dude. All right, where do I get one of those controllers, bro? Because that shit was fake. I need that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to use a modded controller, but holy shit, dude. That was the fakest thing I've ever seen. Oh, uh, dude, Matt, I honestly think that maybe besides that, uh, one other time maybe, and I, it wasn't as obvious as that one. Like that was the most obvious one for sure I've ever seen. Like, um, I've been matched with guys that use the stick and they'll make like 60, 70% of their shots in unlimited. And I'm kind of like fishy about it, but like that guy greened, not every single shot. doesn't matter how on him I was either. Like if, if I was under 30%, he was greening it. So that's definitely, uh, Yeah, I, pr I probably should, but I probably will afterwards, to be honest. I'm a fucking hater. Like, I'm mad about that. I'm trying to get Richard Jefferson out here, dude. You're stopping me. There we go, Andre Karolinko. Um, I'm streaming through Elgato right now. Just because I can use my mic through Elgato. I can't use it through my Xbox because my Xbox is super annoying like that. Fuck off. I'm, like, mad. I'm mad now. I'm going to be playing super petty for the rest of the night. Bro, if I'm streaming till I get them, I'll be on till like January 1st because I won't get them. Like straight up. I'll be streaming for like the next like three days because I straight up am not going to get Richard Jefferson. I can just feel it in my bones. Um, like I'm already starting to think that 2K, like I've been talking shit about 2K on my videos for a while and I'm like starting to think that they're punishing me in both my pack luck and my algorithm like just because the amount of whites I make is typically not as good as ever. The person I'm playing usually makes a larger percentage of whites against me. Um, like I don't even think that's like me being paranoid. I legitimately think that's true. And then like my pack luck's been absolute dog shit. So like, I really think they're spiting me right now. <laughs> yeah. It's like when I start talking shit about their pack odds, I usually like get a good card in the next like couple pack openings I do. But I don't really feel bad about the Kobe ones because I did watch, like, other people open packs and, like, nobody could pull Kobe. Uh, what's his fucking name? I forgot his name, dude. I always do this guy. He's, like, a bigger YouTuber. Um, he had a million pack, a million MT pack opening and didn't pull Kobe, which is hilarious. <laughs> Troy Dan. Yeah, bro, I I got a lot of problems with some YouTubers, bro, and the way they do pack openings, just because they always claim the packs are juiced and, like, they're not. <laughs> that shit's super annoying. Um, it's just like, bro, you know damn well these packs are not juiced. Like, I get it. That's how you get your views and stuff, by saying they're juiced. But, like, straight up don't lie to people. Like, these packs are trash. Like, there's a 3% chance you get a card that you want. Like, it's not juiced. Oh, that was terrible. 
<laughs> Yo, do I got two Jacks fighting right now? This is super fucking jokes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, man, come on, bro. You gotta block that. You know, straight up burn. There'll be like 3% odds, and they'll be like, these packs are juiced. Like, what? No, they're not, dude. We haven't had a juice 2K pack ever. The most juice thing we've had in the last, like, two years is that locker code we just had. That was terrible. I really should have played better on that one. That was fucking awful. But it is what it is. All right. There we go. Oh, uh, you know what? <clears throat> that was good. You called that one. Hit that. Splash. <laughs> no i mean realistically like if you are gonna buy packs he's not wrong like the super packs are the only ones that are worth buying like regular packs are not worth buying like they're just trash ass odds um i do pack openings for views and just to show people that like they're terrible um but like i never suggest actually buying packs like I basically only do pack openings just to show people how trash the pack odds are in 2K. Like, that's the only reason. I the fuck was that, Andre Karolinko? Like, dude, what the... F oh, my man's too busy, like, getting his hall pass and cheating on his wife to fucking play basketball right now. There we go. Nick Anderson, let's go. Smack, 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 smack. Ugh. Oh. I know, dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Nick Anderson's definitely an acquired taste. Like, some people like him, some people don't. I'm a huge fan of Nick Anderson just because he plays really good defense, and I like his jump shot a lot. It's kind of like Kyle Korver, though. A lot of people, like, hate Kyle Korver's jump shot. I love it. I very rarely miss with him. Nick Anderson's the same way. That's why in my videos, you don't really hear me say, like, oh, you need to buy Nick Nick Anderson because he's just, like, he's not a card I think is universally good for everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, I forgot about those, man. Oh, that was crazy. 2K, bro, a lot of people hated 2K18. I, I actually like 2K18. Uh, I thought it was, it was a pain in the ass to play, but I liked it. I miss 2K17 Blacktop. That's what I miss. Like, that's the game mode I miss more than anything. I love Blacktop. Like, that's straight up sick, dude. Oh, bro, I'm looking for Charity. Chill, chill, chill. I love Charity. Look, I need Richard Jefferson out here in the streets so bad. Like, <laughs> it's not even close. All right, who am I getting matched up with this time? We matched up with a, uh... okay, beatable, beatable team. Yo, Patrick Ewing looks so fat in this picture, man. They did my man Pat so dirty in his magic days. <sighs> ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I don't, I feel like I do. I feel like I remember that Donovan Mitchell one. Oh, no, that's bad. Yo, good defense. You know what? That's fine. Patrick Ewing's very large, and D'Angelo is really small. There we go. Hit that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know, dude. I've been running into this MJ all fucking day long. It's super annoying. Um, oh, that was just terrible defense. What was I doing? Jesus. No, nah, dude, uh, Ryan, for sure, I think uh, 2K17 is, like, my favorite as well. I think it's, like, legitimately one of the best, my teams. Um, like, I miss, like, pack and play. I really miss Blacktop, dude. Like, Blacktop was so sick. You got to bring one card in with you, and then it just randomly gave you two cards. So, like, it doesn't matter how much money you spent on the game and how, like, sick your team was. There was really no way... Is he playing off-ball with Michael Jordan? What the fuck is going on? 
There we go. So there was really no way for you to, if you spent a bunch of money on the game, you weren't necessarily going to win blacktop games because you got random cards. You had to be good with like every jump shot and every card. As you can see, I think I'm just like brain dead after uh, playing TTO for so long because I like can't even guard Patrick Ewing right now. This is not my finest moment. All right. Oh, my God. Really got to use another team. Uh, Sleepy don't want it. Good defense. OP tricks, huh? Okay. Yeah. I liked, dude, Sleepy Floyd was probably one of my favorite cards at the beginning of the year. I really liked him. Like, I used him over a lot of the, uh, like, diamond point guards I had. There we go, Nick Anderson splash. I love Nick Anderson's jump shot, dude. <laughs> I just like Nick Anderson a lot. I liked him last year, too. Like, his ruby card last year was really good. What's going on there? There we go. Good defense. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, Jack, man. Can you hook me up with 2K and tell him to reset my fucking algorithm? <laughs> like, please. Uh, <laughs> I just want Richard Jefferson, man. I just want this Baron Davis card, dude. I'm not even doing it for a gameplay video. Because, like, what's the point of doing a gameplay video for Baron Davis? Like, if you have Baron Davis, you're going to use him. So, I'm not even doing this for, like, a gameplay video. Like, I'm doing this just to have the card. I never understood doing gameplay videos for cards that are, like, unobtainable. Just because it's like, okay, you're going to watch this gameplay video and you'll be like, damn, that's a really good card. Wish I had that. Oh, terrible. What am I doing, dude? I think I have brain worms. Oh, my God. Let <laughs> me phone it in. Bro, please. I'm struggling out here. Oh, yep. Step backs. Ooh, splash. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. We need more of that. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Big Pat. Come here. All right. I really wish D'Lo had just a smidgen of defense. That would be great. I think it might be worth putting the 30K for clamps on him. I'll hit that Nick Anderson. Oh, no. No. Whoa, that's some deep balls, bro. What are you doing? Oh, thank God. He was not about to get that rebound. All right. Let's go D'Lo. Oh, what am I doing? Let me just attack Big Pat. Yeah, I should have been doing that all game. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Like, I should have just been attacking Big Pat with Karolinko the entire game. Let's try not to be a cheese ball. Here we go, AK. Splash. GG's. Holy shit. Thank you, God. I should have just been shooting twos the entire time. Uh, the last couple games I've been playing so bad, dude. But I've been playing TTO literally since I woke up this morning. And uh, I've cleared the board probably like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten times today. I mean, I've, cle I've cleared it twice since I've been on stream at, since seven. So, dude, I just haven't seen Jefferson once, man. I've seen Larry Nance once. I think I'm like, yeah, I saw him one time. But I just want to at least see Richard Jefferson, man. Because I keep running into him on, TC, like, on TTO playing it. And I'm just like, fuck, dude. Let me just have him, please, for the love of God. All right. I'm going to keep playing until I lose, and then I'll get off. And I'll jump off stream. But I'll be back streaming probably Tuesday. Um, I might do it over on Twitch instead. So if you guys don't have uh, my Twitch, it's in the description for all my videos. But it's twitch.tv slash cheapludes. Um, if you guys don't have a Twitch account, no worries, man. Um, don't give me the gold consumable for the love of God. Just give me some MT. <laughs> Dude, it's... <laughs> oh, it hurts, man. I just want uh, this card. I don't even like Richard Jefferson, dude. 
I got really, I, I mean, I liked his Amethyst card at the beginning of the year. He's actually pretty solid, but like, all right, are we using D'Lo or should I use someone else, dude? I mean, I want to go with the Amethyst tier because I'm getting a good mix of like opponents, but uh, I use Mo Williams. No, fuck Mo Williams, dude. Drew Holiday, maybe. Or do I run Kyrie? Kyrie has even worse defense. Does have that Hall of Fame tight handles, though. Mm, this is tough. This is tough. Got Deadeye. Are you telling me D'Lo doesn't have flexible release? Really? Is that why I'm missing so many fucking whites with this guy? Oh, you're telling me I can put clamps on D'Lo? I didn't even know that. That's awesome. Yeah, I was thinking about running Ruby Shump, but uh, I just need someone who's like purely offensive. For Oh, shit. It's about to be time. Tell me they put range extender on my boy. Oh, let's go. It's Daniel Gibson time. Oh, I had no idea. I forgot I even had him yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. He can't play defense either, but this is my guy, so I'm going to run a game with him. I forgot they gave me a Ruby Daniel or uh, Amethyst Daniel Gibson, dude. Let's go. I forgot all about that. What the fuck is this, bro? <sighs> all right, Daniel. You got your, uh, you got your work cut out for you, bruh. I should have just kept D'Lo. <laughs> All right, Daniel Gibson, let's go. Oh, his dribble moves are not as good as D'Lo's, but it's cool. He's got a driving dunk. It's fine. All right. I should probably have played, gone to shoot around or something before using Daniel Gibson. Oh, let's go. Money. Oh, come on, bro. Hook me up. All right, this is a this is a L for sure. It's not even remotely close. Ooh, his jump shot's a little bit slower, but uh, he does have that gold flexible too, man. Get out of here. Ooh, Daniel gives him boards. Okay. Ooh, broke you, son. Let's go. <laughs> oh, let's go. <clears throat> I didn't even know I had this dude. I'm like really excited about this. I forgot all about him. The board, let's get it. Oh, get off me, cuz. That board, good shit. That's what I'm talking about. We got a three point lead. Let's get it. I'm feeling the power of the headband. Let's go. Daniel Gibson's my guy. I forgot they even. I got so wrapped up in the Pantheon packs. I, like, I forgot they even gave an Amethyst Daniel Gibson. Oh, yeah? You think you're cool? You think you got these dribble moves? Daniel Gibson's not letting you pass. Oh, yeah, he did. He just let you pass. Oh, that's money. Ah, fuck. Damn it. All right. You don't have defense. There we go. <clears throat> oh, Daniel Gibson. Feels right. Welcome home, sir. Nope. It's really cute. That was a cute little move you did there. Oop. And a oop. And a oop. And a oop. Oh, what the fuck was that? I get the board. You know where the ball is going. Uh, get off him, cuz. That's what I'm talking about. Daniel Gibson's sick. Once I get his jump shot, can I twerk? No. <laughs> uh, no. Definitely not. Uh, right when I start to get... Uh... Yeah, even if I wanted to, I probably couldn't, realistically. I don't have the rhythm, cuz. Hit that. 
Oh, let's go. Daniel Gibson facilitating the offense. A revelation to the team. Just wait till I get a ooh, wait till I get a smaller not smaller, but a slower point guard on me. Jamal Murray's at least kind of fast. Good defense. No fucking way. Over Nick Anderson? Are you kidding me? He's like six foot six, dude. What are you doing? Alright, let's take that to the hole on Bosch. You got no clamps, son. Alright. Alright. Oh, alright. Thought for sure that was going to go well. It didn't go well, but it's fine. No, sir, I'm getting through that. And you got lucky. You got super lucky there. Oh, splash. Let's go. <laughs> Daniel Gibson. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yup. That worked. Good grab. Andre Karolinko. Ooh. Move the ball up. Let's go. Oh, Nick Anderson for the G's. GG's. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Sit there and look in shame, Jason Richardson. Yeah, Daniel Gibson said, yo, number one, welcome to the squad. All right. Um, no, I haven't. No, I, I really haven't seen that one. Uh, I haven't really been focusing too much on TTO, and I really haven't been focusing too much on, like, exploits and stuff like that this year. Um, I just want to shoot with the stick. can't believe I got beat up with the Zen controller. Fucking this guy. God. Oh, Daniel Gibson's nice, bro. Uh, the Sapphire Daniel Gibson was legitimately one of my favorite cards this year. Uh, he's my favorite Sapphire point guard. Uh, take that back. Cole Anthony I like a little bit more than Daniel Gibson now, just because he has Golden Range Extender. But Daniel Gibson, I like his jump shot. I like his uh, just everything, really. He's got kind of a slow jump shot and kind of slow dribble moves, but I don't know. For some reason, I make a lot of jump shots with him, uh, so I like him. So I'm going to continue to use him. I didn't even realize that he was available. He doesn't have as fast as a jump shot as uh, D'Lo, though, so it's going to be harder to get quick stop threes off, but I'm going to run with him. I like the squad. This team's going to take me to the promised land. Yeah, because I think he... Was it a Sapphire card that he had? Like, I think I like Cole Anthony a little bit more, but yeah, Daniel Gibson's nice. His Sapphire was sick. But, uh... Bro, he is a god. I totally forgot that I even got this. I got it done and then was just so fixated with Pantheon packs. I forgot to even like play with this card at all. I just spaced out so hard. But uh, good thing I remembered that he's uh, out here because I'm about to splash with my man, Booby Gibson. And we got Brandon Ingram, Walter Davis, Wayne Embry. Fuck. No. All right. Just gonna. All right, Daniel Gibson, you ready? Daniel Gibson needs to uh, carry the game right now. Oh, he's got Walter Davis on him. That's fucking not good. Are you off ball? Are you that scared of Daniel Gibson? Oh, let me speed boost past her real quick. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to attack Ingram. Oh, no. Unfortunately, I have Nick Anderson getting matched up with Ingram, who's just not that much of a speed demon. But he can still get past him. Oh, let's go. You're getting fucking wrecked, Ingram. Oh, no. There we go. Splish! <laughs> Don't be leaving Daniel Gibson open. You're going to get hurt. Like, if you leave anyone open, then it should be, honestly, Karolinko probably. Because I'm just not that good with base 98. But I can assure you it shouldn't be Daniel Gibson. Splash. No way. No way. Wide open off the catch and shoot. You're really going to do me like that? 
Loopy fruit. I like the cereal flavors, man. I don't know why. I just do. They, they're the ones that, like, got me stuck with it. There we go. Splash. Daniel Gibson, dog. Let's go. He might be the best spotlight reward. He's better than Vadi Divac, dude, to be honest with you. No way. Come on. I've been playing with Walter Davis for a while. He's a team back clone. I know he can't do things like that. Get off me, Ingram. Dunked on. I wonder if I used Jonathan Isaac if my... What the fuck was that? Ah. If my luck with matchmaking would turn around. I feel like it wouldn't. Oh, I hate Wayne Embry so much. Okay, you're right. Ray for Austin's sick. You're right. No, you're right. I forgot about Ray for Austin for a second, even though I use him, like, literally as my starting point guard. Oh, let's go. Get fucked, Embry. I'll give you that. Ray for Austin, he's, the, he's definitely the best for sure, but Daniel Gibson's the best non-season reward one, if that makes sense. Oh, Brandon Ingram makes a defensive play. No way. Oh, he just froze up Karolinko. Dumb shot. Get the board, Ingram. Or not Ingram. Oh, that was terrible. What oh, all right. Oh, no. What the hell did I just do? Oh, no. I'm still, dude. I'm trying to get Richard Jefferson. I'm out here with Daniel Gibson right now trying to splash. Oh, my God. I hate Wayne Embry so much, dude. I just want Wayne Embry, bro. Like, that's all I want. Oh, let's go. Ah. <clears throat> Daniel Gibson is an unstoppable force, an immovable object in TTO. Good foul. I'll give him that. Good foul. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mary Anderson. Oh, dear Jack. Oh. <laughs> Whoo, okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's Daniel Gibson's turn, bro. Yeah, so you got to off-ball Daniel Gibson because he's too good. Get, get out of here. Just get out of here. Let's go. I'm a terrible dribbler, too. So, like... Okay. Not much I can really do there. Alright. Splash. <laughs> oh, Daniel Gibson's so good, dude. Alright. I should have stopped... I just smacked my mic for no reason. I should have stopped using D-Lo, like, a long time ago and just switched over to another point guard because, uh... I'm having renewed success with a man, Daniel Gibson, almost instantaneously. Oh, all right. I can still stream for a little bit longer, apparently. So until I lose, man, I'll be on here live until I lose, um, which I predict will be five minutes <laughs> before I cop an L because 2K has let me have a little success and it's, it's going to take it away from me here pretty soon. I hope to uh, at least get up to like, well, I shouldn't say when I lose. When I lose this board, I should say, which I think I have like one loss already. So I'm going to try to clear this board out before I get off here, but we'll, we'll see what's happening. We'll see what 2K allows me to do. I mean, I'm stacking MT and tokens tonight, though. I wish they would stop giving me one token at a time, but... I need to stack up tokens as much as humanly possible to get ready for next season. I mean, I don't think I'll be up. I don't wait. I don't think, uh, no, Opals will be 300 tokens as opposed to 750. 750 will be dark matter. Yeah. They'll be black matter, dark matter. I don't even know which ones they are. Mm, it kind of, uh, cryptic. It just depends when, what the rest of my team's looking like. Like I have two defensive stoppers and 3 and D guys, and Karolinko and Nick Anderson. So I'll probably go with like a more offensive-oriented guard, uh, like Daniel Gibson. 
But if I'm using like another offensive oriented player on either the wing or like big man position, then I'll probably go with like an all arounder defensive guard like Drew Holiday or something. But uh, Daniel Gibson's kind of lighting it up right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with him for a little bit. We'll see, man. But, yeah, I mean, it just kind of depends. Like, sometimes I'll use Rex Chapman, who's more of a uh, pure offensive guard. And sometimes I'll use, like, Chris Paul, who's, like, an all-around guy. It just kind of depends who what I'm feeling that day. All right, Ingram, Morant, Bryant Reeves. Okay, this man has no fucking defense whatsoever at the guard or wing position. So I should be able to kill him. We'll see. Oh, you ready? Oh, you're on-balling Daniel Gibson? Sir, what a mistake. Splash. Oh, not splash. <laughs> not splash. Okay. That's fine. Nope, not today, sir. All right. That's fine. Yeah, I was about to say, don't... don't. Splash. Oh, what the... All right, the algorithm is shifted. I mean, I can't play better defense, I feel like. I really can't. I mean, it's not like I was playing great defense, but, like, it's not bad. Splash. There we go. Just got to green my shots. Yo, what up, Big Poppy? Long time no see, bro. Oh, man's just going to rim run. With my guy Brandon Ingram, of course. What are you doing? What's the, what's the what's the vibes here? There we go, dude. I swear to God, Choppy man, I haven't found him at all. Like I've probably cleared, like I said earlier, like somewhere around twenty boards. I've cleared basically all the way to the top. That doesn't even count the ones I've gotten to, like you know, the middle tier and upper top tier before I lost. Um, and like I haven't seen him once. There we go. Hit it. Daniel Gibson is a god. He doesn't miss, except when 2K decides that he wants to miss a wide open three pointer. But, like, other than that, ah, my man's just speed boosting around. All right, I got to try to get a, try to get ahead of that. There we go. We just need to keep playing good. I'm just going to camp down here. If you come at me again with Ingram, I'm going to fuck you up with Karolinko, bro. All right. I need to watch that because I know Bryant Reeves can hit those. No way, dude. Come on. Uh, the 2K algorithm hates me. Come on, man. All right. This dude's fucking off. All right, CPU, what the fuck was that? Why are you cutting right now, dude? Uh. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Um, but I know it's a base that I like. Like, I, you know, that makes sense. I think it's the same one that Richie Guerin has, if I'm not mistaken. Bro. <laughs> this guy hasn't missed this entire game. It's super annoying. All right, it's got to attack Big Country. Oh, my God. That's supposed to be a pump fake, but that's cool. There we go. Hit it again. I mean, dude, he's... Dude, I swear, man. Like, I don't call for any of these. They just happen right when I'm trying to throw the fucking ball. Oh, god damn it. I'll slink back on you. Did the... Ah! Oh, come on, dude. Hold up. What, what did my man shoot this game? I'm tired of this. Yeah, my man didn't miss. <laughs> he 
He shot 10 for 10. All right. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, you know what? There's just nothing you can do about those. Sometimes, like, the 2K algo is going to kill you. He's not going to miss anything. And it's just going to happen. Like, I wish their algorithm was a little bit more, I don't know. I want to say, like, even, you know? Having an entire game where someone just has the blessing of 2K is super annoying. And it does seem to happen a lot in TTO. Um, not so much in Unlimited because it seems to go quarter by quarter basis for Unlimited and like Limited and stuff. But TTO is just such a quick game that I don't think they know how to operate it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh. Okay. Well. I don't even know where to drop this thing. I like, I truly don't even know where to drop this because this is the worst fucking board, dude. Like, I don't have any fucking clue. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, like, I know I'll reset the game and I'll keep the board, but like, what does that do for me? Like, what, what, cause it's still like a shitty ass board. So like, should I keep the board and like just stack a bunch of these boards together and then just like try, like, I don't really know where should I even drop this thing, dude? Cause like, this is the worst, this is easily the worst board. Like it's not even particularly close. I truly have no idea how to even get to that It's super annoying because, like, it, the pinwheel spins the opposite way. You'll get more balls? Really? Is that a thing? I, I didn't know that. All right. We're just gonna let uh we're just gonna let deity of your choice take the wheel here and just uh try dropping it somewhere, dude. I don't I don't fucking know where to drop it though. Uh you know what? Fuck it, we're dropping it over here. Oh, let's go. Oh my fucking god. Ugh. All right. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to see Richard Jefferson again for the rest of the board, I don't think. Right? Like, I already... Richard Jefferson already showed up, so I don't think I'm going to see him even if I run up the board again, but it, it's cool. I'll play well, I'll play until I lose. And then, uh, then I'll jump off. Damn, that is hella frustrating, dude. That's crazy. Man. Ah. Oh. That just hurt my soul, dude. <laughs> what up, Jay Dude? You picked a real interesting time to jump in here to see my absolute like heart get ripped out of my chest because I couldn't get Richard Jefferson just now. Alright. Oh man. Dude, I don't even have that's uh wordless i have no words for what just happened to me okay we got a like very winnable game here <laughs> to try to soften the pain oh fuck dude i just want richard jefferson man so i can get this uh baron davis and like have a reputable point guard they're gonna give baron davis like 10 hoff badges because he's like a technically free card they're gonna like do him super dirty i can just feel it yeah, don't be playing games with me. Been playing games with my heart. Ooh. Get off get off him, cuz. Splash. 
I know, dude. I'm never going to get it with the T2 board. I'm just wondering, like, because he showed up already, if I can get him again like this TTO run. Oh, dude, I fucking hate that. No, it is. It's been confirmed. It's like a 2.2% chance or 2.3 or something like that. 2.5, I think, is what it actually is, um, which is super jokes. Like, that's why Mike Miller is straight up one of the uh, rarest card in the game. Oh, yeah, let's go hit that splashdown. Oh, no. All right, we're just going to abuse stuff on Marbury here. I can abuse Trey Young, too. I don't know. I'm just wondering if I get up to the uh, the Tier 3 boards, like on this run, if he'll still show up. I'm curious. I got to put – I have to put a range extender on Karolinko, dude. I think he needs a couple other badges, too. I might just have to sink 50K in, in Karolinko. I just – I like him so much. There we go. God, Daniel Gibson straight up doesn't miss, dog. <laughs> like, oh, let's go. Free dubs. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> His team tag is Pog. <laughs> nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, Doc Adams, what are you uh what squad are you using? Should try like a lower overall squad. I mean you'll still come up against those guys, but it'll be a lot less. Okay, Andre Karolinko is just not making any fucking three pointers right now. Splash. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. I could always just sell my AK and uh, look for one with range and, like, you know, spend the difference because that'll end up being cheaper than, like, ranging out my Andre Karolinko because I sold all my, like, ranges and stuff. So. Because he's really good, man. My day's going good, dude. Jalen Hero Bosch. Okay, it's yeah, it's because you're using Jalen. I would run like kind of like the squad I'm running, realistically. You could still run Bosch. I mean, you're gonna run into some like pink diamond teams, like it's still gonna happen, but um using like another Ruby, like you could use like Rex Chapman or like someone like that, and you'll probably run into at least like some more regular squads. But you can still compete with, like, God squads with a team like that, too, especially if you're good enough with them. There we go. Mm. Yeah, my day's straight, dude. Uh, aside from the fact that I can't get Richard Jefferson to, like, literally save my life at all. Oh, and my hat keeps shooting up to the sky oh man it's frustrating dude wade every time i run into him he's literally unstoppable yeah ruby paul yeah or nick anderson um Hero and Nick Anderson together probably isn't going to be a good move just because you have no one to, like, be a ball handler in that regard. But if you were to use, like, say, Nick Anderson and then, like, a Ruby point guard, like somebody who you trust to be, like, a facilitator, um, that would be, a, like, a really good squad. Uh, that way you have a little bit of everything. You got defense, you got shooting, you got rebounding. Everyone can step out and hit the open jumper if you need to. Um Plus, you got someone to hold the ball as well and kind of facilitate it. Like, I'm using Daniel Gibson, but, like, you can get away with anyone. Donovan Mitchell would probably be the best option if you have him. If not, like, De'Aaron Fox, um, Richie Guerin, Steve Francis, um, D'Angelo Russell, Kyrie, like, any of those guys. That's a pretty well-rounded team that will win you some games, and it'll stop uh, – the uh, God squads from showing up at least sometimes. You're still going to run into one or two here and there, but it's not going to be as bad. All right, let's go. Oh, that was about as close as I can get. <laughs> All right. 
We have five wins, so we're going to be up to... Where am I at here? Okay, I'm up to the final one of Tier 2, so I just have to get through another game or two, and I'll be good. You get ripped with Kyrie. Yeah, uh, try D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell's really good. I was having a lot of luck with him earlier. When I was running, he plays shit defense, but uh, he's really fast. He can run rim. He can shoot the three. He's got gold range, plus he has that gold uh, floor general, so it boosts everyone's rating. Um, or if you got Donovan Mitchell, dude, Donovan Mitchell is probably one of the best options you could use. I'm just not a huge fan. But what the fuck, dude? <laughs> really? I'm getting free agent cards out here? Man, come on. I'm super tired of free agent cards. I mean, at least it's not that good of a free agent card. I mean, he's basically like a low-level pink diamond, but like... Still, super annoying. Uh, okay. That's cool. All right. What just happened there? All right. I made it. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, straight up burn. Oh, come on, bro. Wide open in the corners for Karolinko. Oh, my God. Really? Come on, bro. Nope. You're Michael Red, bro. I know better than that. I'm not leaving you open. There we go. Ah. Are you going to sleep on Daniel Gibson's range? Fine. Do that. Oh, Daniel Gibson is the GOAT, man. He's brought a completely new element to this team. <clears throat> Switching Andre Karolinko out for Chris Bosch or Chris Bosch out for Karolinko and switching out um, D'Lo out for Daniel Gibson has been a uh, huge, huge revolution. Yeah, I got Mo Pete. I, I use him occasionally. I just I'm really liking Daniel Gibson right now. Ooh, terrible shot. Doesn't matter. Cash. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, good defense. Ah. Michael Red, you really gonna do me like that? I got your rookie card, cuz. Splash. <laughs> Let's go. Daniel Gibson, dude, he's so good. <clears throat> I really didn't know he was gonna be this good. I mean, like, I remember the staff, like, Let's go. Bro, for real? Yeah, that sucks, dude. I hate that some of the cards are RNG. Like, it's so stupid. Bye-bye. Adios. Oh, what up, I play poker? I didn't even see you in here, cuz. What up? Um, yeah, I should have used it on my Richard Jefferson one, but it was just that it was the... Uh, it was tier two, so it's like I just kind of got frustrated. All right, flash three pack. Whatever. Drop it straight down the middle. That's fine. Maybe I get a flash three out of this. Uh, nope. <laughs> Not this time. Oh, wait. Nope. All right. That's fine. If I get a flash three, I'll be stoked about it. I think, I think Zion's in flash three, right? I think it was Zion and Monte were in that one. I believe so. Oh, well, let's go hit the middle. All right. No, come on, dude. There we go. Nope, nope. Don't you dare. Oh. Oh, straight up, dude. Sapphire Gibby's great. And his Amethyst is so fucking good, dude. I've been on a tear in TTO with his Saf or with his uh, Amethyst card. I really didn't think he was going to be that good. Oh, come on, bro. <sighs> yeah, dude, I'm, I'm going to wait for a board with RJ. I mean, worst case scenario, I load it back up and I have the same amount of balls. It's really not that big of a deal, you know? be really cool if they could, like, let me get this Flash 3-pack, though. That'd be sick. Another ball? No? Okay. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. 
All right, so I got eight. So I got the last two, the fivers left. No, no, they don't expire. Um, if you put them in on the uh, phone app, they'll stay in until you log back in. I believe so. The only issue with the phone app, though, is like if you're putting in like, let's say one of the kills and why ones, and then one of the other ones, like if they have the same prizes, you'll just run the same board like two different times, which kind of sucks. But other than that, it's really not that big of a deal. I used to do that all the time. Earlier this year, or was it last year, where you could put the locker code in twice? That was sick. I'll be leaving Daniel Gibson open. Come on now. Got gold flexible, gold range, cuz. We'll be doing that. But yeah, that was sick. When you put the locker codes in twice, that was tight. <laughs> you can get the prizes. I think it was last year, I believe. Yeah, because I remember doing it with uh, Showtime packs. And takeover packs. So you could put the same board in. You could hit the board twice every time. That was sick. Never got anything good because Showtime packs and takeover packs were terrible. But, oh, God, no. There we go. Hit that. Oh, it's sweet. Yes, the PD ones are so cool. And you know what's awesome is when you actually put those in, they're going to be, like, so expensive <laughs> compared to what they were. Like, if you pull any of those Season 3 guys... Um, well, I mean, you will. It's either them or Iverson. Oh, Curry Slide, you're cool. Um, they're going to be so much higher in price than they were the day that locker code came out. There we go. Good move. 999. Let's go. Yeah, this year's been pretty good for codes. Like, um, you've been, we've been getting a lot of free packs this year, which I think was pretty cool. Granted, the pack odds in the locker code packs are, like, even more terrible than the actual, like, packs this year in my opinion i'm pretty certain like i haven't pulled anything from a locker code pack this year fuck you get off me curry oh daniel gibson does not he does not have those i mean you can quick sell the iverson i think it'd be cool if you could sell the iverson personally so people who didn't get it in the code could just go buy it you know if they could um but no you can't like go sell it on the market which kind of sucks hit that let's go okay for real daniel gibson does not miss bro like <laughs> he doesn't miss whites at all uh i don't know what's going on here he must have elite hot zones dude i'm guessing fucking curry <laughs> dude the uh, i can't gas up packs bro because it's just like not morally right because they're garbage like i can't do it I can't sit there and, like, tell people packs are juiced and that they're sick and, like, everything like that. Like, yeah, I could probably get 2K to, like, send me free stuff eventually because by doing that, but it just, like, doesn't feel right. <laughs> I can't lie. I'm not going to lie and have some, like, 9-year-old kid waste his, like, $20 on packs. Bro, are you just going to keep curry sliding over and over again? Holy shit, dude. It's not going to work. It works sometimes. It's not right now. Shoot with Bingo Smith. He's way more wet, dude. Yeah, I am, like, the not an upbeat YouTuber in any way, shape, or form. Oh, let's go, Daniel Gibson. Hit that. Oh, good board. Oh, let's get it. <laughs> I have to grind this game, dog. Like, <laughs> there's nothing upbeat about this. This is just all pain up in here. Bro. Oh, my God. Quick hurry escaping, dude. Literally. I'm just going to stand here. He did all that. All that for a layup. Come on, man. Do, 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 do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Watch this. I can do it too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, bam. There you go. Look at that. That was sick, right? <sighs> yeah, but that killed your spirit. Uh-oh. Oh, you want to battle? Is that what we're doing? We're we doing dribble move battles? Is that what Oh, look at you. Ooh. Ooh, look at you. Ooh. Oh man, you really got me. That's good. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, you got the rebound. Time to do six more curry slides. Whoop whoop whoop. 
All right. Okay. Uh, okay. How's it keep getting? The, is that what I get? This is karma. <laughs> this is literally karma, dude. Come on. Okay, Bingo don't have those. Oh, he does. Oh, that's not. Why are you not shooting the ball with Bingo every five seconds, dude? Yeah, I did. It was really gross. Look at this. Oh, oh look at that. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh. Who oh, got him? Oh, that was bad. Cash. Oh, no way. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not letting you get a three off here. Oh, my God. There we go. <sighs> <laughs> oh man all right we got him man bingo looks pissed all right please give me richard jefferson oh <laughs> where i have an actual chance i've seen so many people with richard jefferson and i'm just like damn how no, yeah, it doesn't have quick draw this year, so I don't think it's as good. Um, I prefer base 11 over base 98 every year anyway. Like, I prefer Aldridge base and Trey Burke base over uh, Dwayne Wade base. I've never been a huge fan of it. I understand it's a pretty good release. I just don't get the hype. Like, I don't understand why it's such a meta release that everyone loves. Okay, 10 tokens. I mean, not exactly what I wanted, but, you know, I'll take it, I guess get ready for uh those opal drops next season which i probably won't get to till like halfway through the season anyway but you know it is what it is <clears throat> oh that was terrible that was a terrible drop that's going straight into 250 mt oh yeah that's what i'm talking about that's what i like to see get a token hell yeah oh two tokens that's what i'm talking about oh let's go all right uh no i didn't actually enter that one in i didn't get it apparently it just it just never showed up it said i got a bunch of stuff and then i just never got it so i don't know maybe if the code was expired or what um because i just straight didn't get any of the stuff it said i entered the code and then nothing showed up on my account so uh if the mic was off i play poker it probably would be no i mean it definitely would be if the if the uh Webcam is off. After I turn this off, it will be 100%. Like many. <laughs> but I need to relieve the stress of playing TTO all day long. Dude, Zach Levine is really good. I just can't justify that price tag. I don't think he's that expensive, though. I think he's only like 200 k or something, which is like expensive. But for a pink diamond of his caliber, he probably should be up a little bit. All right, final game, guys. Are we going to get Richard Jefferson? Honestly, I'd take Larry Nance. I don't really want Larry Nance, but I'll, I'll take him, I suppose. Should probably put an unlimited contract on Karolinko just so I can grind TTO. But I just don't want to waste one. I have like 10, but I can sell them all for like 20K. So I could probably make damn near 200K. <laughs> where are you where are you from at because i yeah we just got wreck uh january of this year as well um before i started doing youtube and podcasting full-time i worked at a dispensary for like two years i ran the one in my town so <clears throat> uh michigan yeah okay i've been up there and sampled products so i, I yeah <laughs> i know i'm in illinois so what well, you guys are really gonna do me like this on my final game dude come on That's kind of what I was thinking. I'm, I'm going to chill on all my Dino contracts. I sold a few of them when Pink Diamond started to come up because people were paying like 30 k for them. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to wait for Opals. They've been I've been dropping them in packs, dude. Like, I've been pulling so many in packs recently. Let's go. Like, way more than I remember pulling earlier in the year. Like, shit, just trying to go for Embiid, I got like five. <laughs> I didn't get a single diamond player or even 
Yeah, or a pink diamond or even a diamond, but I got like five diamond contracts. All right. Are they just going to do this to me right now? Okay. Bad shot, bad shot. <clears throat> I'm just not feeling base 98 right now, dude. I don't understand. I need an amethyst bull bull that shoots threes. <laughs> like, I need it. The dot, the, uh, the ruby one's just not doing it for me. It doesn't have the right badges. Oh, let's go. Splash. Oh, my God. Come on. Get the board, Karolinko. All right. All right. Settle back in. We got Allen Iverson again, who I hate playing against because he's fucking annoying. Ah, Daniel Gibson. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Not today, sir. There we go. Ah. Oh, good defense on his part. There we go. Daniel Gibson does not play games. He is out here taking names. He is going to single-handedly lead me to Richard Jefferson at some point. Oh, that's wide open. That's cash money. Yeah, I got to say, though, like, as much as I like Andre Karolinko, I wish he had base 90, or not base 98, but uh, base 11 this year. I really do. Like, Aldridge base is so much superior to base 98, in my opinion. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I like my squad, though. Like, since, since swapping out uh, D'Angelo Russell, who I really like, but he just wasn't doing it for me. I'm really enjoying the squad I got now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yup, yup. Oh, yeah. Come on. Bite on it. Yup. There it is. Oh, Daniel Gibson with the big booms. Let's get it. We're up 13 to 8, dude. I'm really hoping. I never get it on the, the final board, though. Like, that 10th board, I literally never get the uh, prize. Like, even back in 2K20, I would never see the prize on the final board. It would always be, like, 5,000 MT or, 10, or like, 50 tokens or whatever. Uh, 25, I think. Um, it was never, like, ever the actual prize for me. So, I think this year is going to be probably similar. The final board is just never going to be what I need it to be. There we go, Karolinko. Dude, I swear I cannot hit shots with Karolinko right now. I need to give him flexible and range. Go see if I can get a badged out, Karolinko. Even if he just has silver range, I'll be cool with it. There we go. Good board. Oh, yeah. You knew to step out on Daniel Gibson, bro. All right. Let's draw some coverage away here. Stupid. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd, you, why'd you bite on that? Just get in that situation, just foul or give up the two. Don't even. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was playing Bonafide from NBA Street. All right. Cash. Oh, let's go. It's GG's. It's GG's. Wrap it up. Oh, that would have been wet if you just left it alone. Oh, you know where the ball's going. Splash. Oh, no. Now you're going to miss Daniel Gibson. You haven't missed, like, at all, aside from, like, super ill-advised shots. Oh, yeah, he's playing post-defense. Oh, that did not work. All right. Now we're going to we're gonna finish this now. Do, do, do. Yeah, you ain't got no clamps, Chris Bosh. Dunks. All right. Now I'm about to log off. So... I would really enjoy it if I could get Richard Jefferson right here. That would be super sick. Um, uh, nah, Dylan, dude, honestly, like I'll probably play like on stream just for fun, but uh, I'm, I'm just not, dude. I'm not good enough for 250K. Like I'm really not. <laughs> just because I play the game more for fun and I don't play like – with or towards meta for the most part so i just i never really get good enough at unlimited dude i've never even 
uh, gone for like a 12 and 0 reward, like a Opal reward this year. I just get body, dude. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't want to have to play this tomorrow, dude. But I mean, I'm going to play. Like, I won like four or five games the first qualifier. The second qualifier just slept right through it. So, um, I'll probably go through and play. I don't think. Uh, it just kind of depends, dude. It depends what my team's looking like. If I have Wade and Baron Davis, which I'll have Wade, but Baron Davis is up in the air because I just truly don't know if they're ever going to let me get Richard Jefferson. Then, yeah, I'll probably go for it because I'll have some elite point guards to use. Um, but I am just going to run into an all Opal starting five at some point, which is going to be really annoying. Bro, I've been playing all weekend and I cannot, today was the first time I've ever even seen him. Um, and that was on tier two with one ball. So not exactly an ideal time. And literally on this, on this drop, I can never even get past these two things. I generally feel like I didn't just drop five balls, but, uh, I could be wrong. But anyways, guys, thanks for uh, coming through for the stream. I plan on doing another stream probably Tuesday. Um, at least that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And then uh, I'm probably Tuesday I'll be on uh, Twitch. So I'll be over on Twitch TV slash Cheap Ludes. And then I think Wednesday or Thursday, because I'm recording the podcast tomorrow. So I'll probably do Wednesday or Thursday. I'll be back over here. And then during the weekend, I'll be back over here as well. So. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. Well, video, stream, but uh, peace out.